Great drama to finish. As it stands, Tigers with a home tie in the round of 16. Anxious moments for Duncan Jones. The Ospreys with their losing bonus would guarantee qualification to the knockout stages. But you just feel there might be another twist here. Ospreys with the upper hand at scrum time. In she goes from Morgan Williams. Morgan Morris having a hard time of it at the base. Here's Kieran Williams, they were ready for him that time. Shot down by Janssen, picked up by Morris and kept alive. Morgan Morris now. Back into that traffic through George North. Clock deep in the red. Rhys Davis waits. They're ready to do the hard yards over and over. Jack Morgan, bouncing through the challenges. What ground he's made. Morris again, driven onwards. Reese Henry, driven sideways this time. Tigers putting heart and soul into this. Desperate to cling on to their slender advantage. Right underneath the shadow of the post, remember. Got to be carefully, Ospreys, not to pre-latch at the minute. There's a few that have gone to ground. Tipperick, there's the penalty again. Tigers offside. I can feel another scrum coming on. And why wouldn't you if you're the Ospreys? The ball squirts out. Morris with lots to do. Well behind the gain line. Not held. Goes again. Sets it up. Rolls it back. Morgan again. Playing with this advantage, the Ospreys. Oh. As you said, got to go for the scrub. We've got two advantages, one on the other side for an offside and one here for offside. So it's so how many times is it? <laughs> it's an offside. What is your decision? It's a valid question, but it was a valid question at the other end of the field earlier in yeah, the game. I think it's veiled in irony, that question, isn't it? If something happens, what had gone on their own red zone and how they defended. Yeah. He's done very well not to show a card tonight, Monsieur Trini, Trinini. He's seen it all before. Alan Wynn. Yeah, game with 26 penalties normally results in at least one yellow. Two and a half minutes beyond the 80. Welford Rhodes raising itself one more time. Is that enjoyment? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe just track wind. Well, if you're not enjoying this, I suggest you go and find another sport. Time for the big boys again. Reese Henry, eyes wide. Have the Ospreys got it in them? Can they clamber over the line somehow or other? That's a solid scrum. Collapsed on this loose head side. Morris coming. offside. I think that's Ben Youngs who couldn't quite help himself. Morgan Williams. Collins slides it away. Giles. Morgan Williams goes wide. Collins driven out. Once again, they were playing with that advantage. Big tackle from Kelly. Huge tackle. We're going to have a look at it, but they've still got the advantage in the bank. Can we have a look if the player, the ball is grounded? Yes or no? It's a penalty try. He hits him around the head. First contact. Be looking not to go for a head contact as well. I think he drops it, doesn't he? So I don't think it's going to be the easy decision for the referee. It's not an easy decision, but. The right decision is it's a penalty try. Could you argue that he would have scored had he not hit him high? I think you probably could. The right arm's over the neck, it's onto his head. For me, that's a penalty try. The fingers are still on it, actually. Fingers are still on it. Is there any separation? 
when the ball hits the ground. And that sort of tackle, Ali, is exactly the conversation that people are having about dropping the height. Yep. Where else can you go? Yep. What are your options? If you've got it hit below the waist. Ben's on level 62 of Duolingo currently for French. <laughs> Captain, please. Captain. With a lusette, please. Sorry? Lusette, please. Lusette. So first, no try, player is in touch. That's the third time there is an infringement at, at, at Strum. Oh. So it's a yellow card against you. 85 minutes in. A yellow card brandished to Dan Richardson, who's only just arrived with us on his European so debut. Please. I would say normally you won't, yeah, I would say normally you won't see him again. I'm not so sure with this one. So, uh, Richardson's exit means a return for James Whitcomb, otherwise the scrummaging can't happen. He didn't look particularly mobile as he stood off the bench. <laughs> Took him a while to get... And uh, Charlie Atkinson is the man sacrificed from the back division. Prop out, a new prop comes in and the player is out. So, from the advantage... Encore une fois. En plus. 87th minute. Whitcomb. Back into the frying pan. I hope if they win it, we go back and he's looking exactly the same. What have we got left here? One more collapse scrum. Obviously. Two things. Elbow up and not pushing down. Okay? Elbow up and not pushing down. Please. <laughs> In the middle of the game, this is intensely dull, isn't it, when this happens? But right now, somehow, it's kind of edging. You've just got to understand the psyche of a prop. I mean, the, the stands could be falling down around them, but they want to complete the scrum. It's the most important thing in the world. Qualification, I don't care. I'm just not giving up a penalty here. Supporters at Welford Road giving it all they've got. Ospreys, though, on the march. Morgan Morris from the base, just short. Jack Morgan over the ball. And they just cannot find those extra three or four inches. Once again, they go. A pile of bodies. Till Trinini can't see anything at all. Time is off. Leicester thought he said ball held up. He didn't. He wants to have a look at this. Ospreys thought it was down, but this could be a decision. Either end of game for ball held up or a try. Well, and as a consequence, nobody wants to move, just in case. Just in case that ball is seen to be on the ground. <laughs> Underneath all those arms and legs. Jack Morgan, last man up. And I don't know what that says, but it... It's suggestive of the fact that he's nailed it. It's either a very good fake to try and convince the officials, or he does truly believe that he's got it down. I, I think it, it's the first by the eyes. don't have any on-field decision, so let's have a look if you have an angle showing the ball grounded, please. OK, we must to see it round again. So they have to see it. They have to have the angle. Referee is not convinced. 
We will look on the angle first time. That angle would suggest that he has got it there. It's not that there That's you go, so there you go, there's the ball. Roll back. There's the ball. You can Is just it? see the tip of it there. That's a boot. No, it's not. That's there's a, a ball. There. There's a ball it's underneath a the red bottom boot. Sure, was. I thought that, I uh, it was the, other, the, the other angle I'm convinced is a ball. That's, that's not down yet, but it le probably is there. Is there. Le there. Le there's the ball. 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 As this rolls on now, just wait, 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 keep going, keep going. You'll see the ball appear there. There's the ball underneath. That's a boot. The ball there. That's a boot. That's the bottom of a boot. It's, a, it's the ball. Well, if it's a boot, it's got no studs. I think the best and angle is this one. Oval. I think we... Is it this one? I just, I just not sure this is conclusive this, enough. This is the angle where you see it on the floor, but it's, you can't see whether it's, it's over the line. The I think if you're the officials, you cannot. There's the ball, there's, there's the ball, ball. There's the ball on the ground, but you can't see whether it's on the line. And that's the, uh, that angle we clearly see the ball grinding on the line, so the decision is tried. Do we all agree on that? Agree. They've decided they can see it. They've decided it's a score. Back and go, shows the ball grounded on the line, so it's a try. Yeah. Yes way. Yes way, Jack Morgan. It's happened. They're within a point with a relatively straightforward conversion to come. Jack Morgan wreathed in smiles. That was the closest of calls in the 92nd minute of the match. More than 12 minutes beyond normal time. Owen Williams, once of this parish, lines up the conversion. A conversion to win and a conversion to put in jeopardy the home tie for the Tigers in the round of 16 of the Heineken Champions Cup. A win grants them that. This kick could deny them that. It won't change the Ospreys' outcome. They will qualify regardless. Williams, very much a favoured son. In previous days, here at Welford Road, tonight not so much. The winner for the Ospreys, they've nicked it by a point. Drama all around. And the Tigers will have to wait to see if they get a home tie in the round of 16. Toby Booth almost breaking into dance. <laughs> Full time. Leicester, 26. Ospreys, remarkably, 27. An amazing performance from the Ospreys. They've done the double over Montpellier. Arguably could have done the double over the English champions, Leicester, as well. Their fight and determination to defend their line has been remarkable. And I don't think anybody will want to play them home or away in the last 16 because they're such a difficult side to beat.